Amuru district in the Acholisa region is emerging out of the LRA conflict which lasted decades. It's this red earth that dusts the lush vegetation long abandoned during the days of warfare. Most of the communities here left the comfort of their homes to flee to internally displaced camps scattered across. It's over a decade when people began to return to their land, a shabby possession with trees, shrubs and gentle streams that meander across the landscape. To many locals here, land is the only possession to free themselves from the shackles of crippling poverty. Yet the area is also a jewel for those who want to carry out commercial farming. Many farmers, including those from Europe and Australia, have established large commercial farms here. However, there are rising incidents of land grabbing at the hands of a cartel which uses money and threats. Some are well-connected individuals, while others are wealthy people within the community who use money to buy influence. Violence related to land disputes is also spiraling out of control in an area where the tenure system is customary. Across the villages of Lakang, Kololo and Atoro, locals here claim there's a scheme to steal their land. When you talk in, this, in the public, when you talk on the behalf of the community that you don't want the, your land to be grabbed by the government, there are some operatives who came at night to follow you when you are sleeping. Uh, we are not against the development of Uganda. Only that the truth needs have to be uh, going on smoothly. Because they are sending up, they are sending up some other people, call them themselves the government operatives. They are intimidating ourselves with some other words. They are saying that if you don't agree, even if you present the, the, the community, community in any meeting, they say that they, you will be arrested. The scramble for land has been fueled further by the discovery of oil. Speculators are rushing here to buy large chunks, hoping they will receive royalties once oil is drilled. In 2015, a long-running dispute in Apa, a shabby outpost in Amuru district, over a 40-square-kilometer piece of land evoked anger as women stripped naked to protest. Some of the locals here say this row began in 2012 when the army attempted to forcefully evict families in this area. This is Apa Parish in Pabo sub-county, which is part of Amuru district. In this area, land is being contested between the Uganda Wildlife Authority, the Acholi community, and the Madi community. A young man was shot dead as the community resisted the eviction. It is an incident which evokes bitter memories. About 25 people were arrested on that year. Before that arrest, uh, 2011, the army, the police, the wildlife authority soldiers came and demolished all this place. There were a lot of huts here, where all demolished. But through the distance of the people, after their demolition of, of the huts, immediately people raised their huts. We began to say that in 2011, 2012, they came again. Across this area towards the north, another community, the Madina Jumani, claimed this is their ancestral land. The people, the executives, I mean, we set a committee so that that committee should come and establish the truth about the uh, APA. We were taken by wildlife authority, uh, because that is uh, an area of wildlife. They took us there, they facilitated us. Then the committee came, people were interviewed, our elders from here. When they were interviewed, the report was tabled, the GPS and what of you clearly indicated that APA is in Germany. From River Zoka, if you go to that place of APA, it's about eight kilometers. There is a land dispute in every pocket of Amuru district. Here in Lakanga and Kololo, Sugar Baron Madvan, one of the wealthiest businessmen in the country, wants a lease of 40,000 hectares to plant sugarcane. However, the truth is that the location where these 10,000 hectares of land being negotiated for the sugarcane production by Madvani is located in Lagang, Lakang in Kololo in Amoro district. The war affected us so much. We have two to three generations of Acholis who never had opportunity to go to schools, to, to acquire skills. 
who can benefit from the basic uh, labor that uh, the industry requires. But more importantly, we also have many actualists who have large chunks of land around the proposed area of the, the Amoro Sugar Works, who can invest in growing sugar cane and, and, and therefore benefiting directly. Madvan, as the investor says, if the plan goes ahead, he will give government as well as the community shares in the factory, provide social economic welfare benefits to the locals in Amuru and compensate the affected people in exchange for the lease. The locals here claim there is no harm with investors seeking to grant opportunities to the community, but these deals must be directly negotiated with the community. So we told, we told them very clearly that our people, they have never given any land to Madivani. So we stood very firm and told Madivani people that if you need land in Amoro, you come and negotiate. On 6 January 2015, a deed of settlement was ostensibly entered between the government of Uganda and the Amoro community for the establishment of Amoro Sugar Works on the piece of land by Madvan. Amongst those who endorsed the deal were former Kilak County MP Michael Chula and former Gulu Municipality MP David Painto. When, when, when I was invited just to, to look at the document and, and also to sign on the document, so I, I, I told them that our people on the ground, no one is aware of this and no one has ever signed and given authority and given 10,000 hectares to Maribani. So I told them this document is not binding to the people who are on the ground. Some leaders in Amuru district claim they are imposters purportedly working in the interest of the communities yet they are after personal gain. Outspoken Kilak North MP Gilbert Olanya has been arrested on a number of occasions because of his flag towards what he says is systemic land grabbing. In fact, people are looking for money as far as Amuru land is concerned. Each and every one we now organize these people straight to state house. Even our cultural chiefs, the Rodi, who are Yonacholi, you just organize your passion after organizing straight to state house with the intention of getting money. As the sun sets in this village with sleepy rhythms, the fear of the LRA rebels no longer stalks this land. But there are threats that as people attempt to recover from the trauma of the LRA conflict, lies trepidation as those seeking to grab land could shatter the peace prevailing in this area. Emmanuel Mutaizewa, NTV Weekend Edition.